Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the Android Studio Layout Editor 2. But before we start, please, if this is your first time here, subscribe, like, and hit the bell in order to get the latest Android tutorials and Kotlin lessons. If you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch. Master data structure and algorithms in C and Java. Join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. A well-designed and implemented user interface. An important factor in creating a successful and popular Android application can vary from simple to extremely complex depending on the design requirements of the individual application. Regardless of the level of the complexity, the Android Studio Layout Editor tool significantly simplifies the task of designing and implementing Android user interfaces. If you scroll down here to the left, and you scroll down to the resources folder, I'll open it again. If you click on project, you can see this is Android. I'll select Android. You will get app folder. You have Java. This is the hierarchy. This is the Kotlin class, the Kotlin file that we're going to uh, code inside it. This is the function for functionality. Think about it like fun for functionalities and adding and handling the click events and making uh, business logic here. And the UI is in the resources folder inside the layout. Later on, we're going to talk about the drawable, map, map, values, XML folders. But now please concentrate on this layout folder. This layout folder will contain all the layouts of our activities and all uh, layouts of our fragments and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the other UI components. So the layout folder will contain all the layouts of our activities, fragments, and will, will help us to design when clicking on this file, for example, the activity underscore main. I told you that every activity contain or have or has the uh, its own activity underscore uh, main or activity uh, underscore second activity dot XML file. So the egg dot XML file is related to every activity and every activity has an XML file. This is the layout editor. Android applications are made up of one or more activities. An activity is a standalone module for application functionality that usually uh, colorates directly to the single user interface screen, such as the screen. Okay, so the main activity is like is linked to directly to this layout, which is a single screen. Okay. This activity will, will display for us a hello world text in the middle. Later on, when we talk about activities and activity lifecycle, we'll understand what is activity. But I want from you to follow me step by step through this course and we'll clarify everything uh, through the uh, next tutorials. But when creating a new Android Studio project, a number of different templates are available to be used at the starting point for the user interface of the main activity. The most basic of these templates are the basic and the empty activity template. And if you remember, we choose the empty activity. Okay, this is just a quick recap of what we done before. Now let's talk about the Android Studio Layout Editor. This is the Layout Editor. As has been demonstrated in previous lessons, the Layout Editor tool provides a what you see is what you get. Please remember it. 
what you see is what you get. If we look at this, this screen, we have this text here in the middle. If we run our application on the emulator or, on, or in the, on the physical device, we will get this screen. So what you, will see, what you see is what you get. This is the what you see, what you get environment in which views can be selected from a palette and then placed into a cam on canvas representing the display on an Android device. You can see here the palette. You can choose the, these uh, views, the containers, the layouts, the widgets, the buttons, text, common, and so on. And we'll use it much more in uh, our, uh, our activities and our course. So please mention it, please uh, not, uh, notice this. So this is what you see in the coding during the coding phase and this is what you get when you run your application it's similar so this is the power of using the android studio layout editor once a view has been placed on the canvas it can be moved deleted or resized subject to constraint of the parent view of course and according to the, to what layout uh, it is included in Further, a wide variety of properties related to the selected view may be modified using the attributes tool window. So let me drag another text from here, from the palette. If I drag it, click on the left mouse, and you can see there is a text view here. And if I click on this to infer the constraints, since I'm using a constraint layout, here in our project, we can see these are the constraints. So if I run the program now here, or before I click on it, I can go to the attributes panel here. So click on attributes. And if you scroll down to here, to the text, I'll say, welcome to our course click enter then you can see that it is changed let's run now and you can see that our application is not responding i need to change its layout its id to text view number one so let's run again and here we go. This is the other text. So we have two texts. Also, you can drag and drop the other views like buttons, image views, recycler view, text, edit text, widgets, layouts, containers, and others. So this is the power of using the Android Studio layout editor. You can drag and drop widgets. You can place them at the constraints. And this is the power of using the constraint layout. And we'll talk about constraint layout later on, on the next videos on this course. Under the surface, the layout editor tool actually constructs a, an XML resource file containing the definition of the user interface that is being designed. As such, the layout editor tool operates in three distinct modes. If you see on the top right here, we have three modes, the design, the code, and the split. So if I click on the design, you can see this is the design that we have worked with. The split, we can see this is the split and you can write the codes here. We have two text views here. This is the code of the text views that we generated, and this is the code of the constraint layout. Also, if I need to go to the code only, I click on the mode code, okay? So as a recap, a quick recap about the Android layout editor, we have the three modes here, code, split, and design. And inside the design, we can drag and drop buttons, widgets uh, like text views, recycler view and others. 
or you can go to the split mode here and write the codes and you can see the the changes directly here so if i need to change welcome to our course to or i can change the hello world if i if i need you can see subscribe to our youtube channel you can see the changes are taking place directly okay this is how we use the split and you can see you can use the code later on when when we talk about the uh, text views and the other uh, uh, the, our uh, other widgets we're gonna talk about these attributes so this is the layout editor we can choose uh, the widgets from here we can go uh, and select the uh, the uh, for devices you can select the the android api the night mode or not the orientation and uh, the it's portrait or landscape the li the design and the blueprint this is the blueprint of your of your layouts this is how you can create other features and these are for the constraint layout and we'll talk about them in the next videos and this is the attributes panel that we're gonna use much in our uh, visual uh, visual editing we can select the, the id the constraints and we can select all attributes if i can click on it we can see all attributes of this text view if it is selected okay and the other widget so you click on the widget you can display the attributes here for this uh, widget okay so congratulations guys we are ready now to start using and playing with the views and